maybe in my next few videos I'll try to use this camera as a as a webcam. I, I'm not sure how I feel about the frame rate of this one. Hmm. What is up YouTube? My name is Gio. Welcome to another reaction of the Acolyte. And last episode, dear God, it broke me. It made me go ballistic. And I keep seeing comments. I'm like, oh, I can't wait till he gets to this episode. Can't wait till he gets to this one. And that terrifies me. That absolutely terrifies me because that could only mean, it could only mean it gets worse. On top of that, recently we found out that the Acolyte was canceled. So there isn't going to be a season two. Meaning, one bad episode doesn't mean that a show gets cancelled. One bad episode doesn't do that. So what is in these next few episodes that are just like, yeah, no, we gotta, we gotta cut this off. I don't know, but I am terrified. Osha. I came to say goodbye. Thank you. For what? For helping me find my sister. Prove my innocence, clear my name. Yeah, ju just her. J just her. She was the one that was able to clear your name. I, th I think Soul had more of a stake in clearing your name than she did, but what, what do I know? You care about me. You mourn the years lost between the two of you. Someone must find me before she does any more harm, but it's not me. Next time I'm on Coruscant, though, I'll look you up, and we'll go to a cantina and trade stories about Master Soul. Did you say goodbye to him? I've caused him enough trouble. Oh, you prick. How could you leave without saying goodbye to Soul? He was the first one to be like, nah, nah. Osha didn't do it. Soul gets no respect. No respect. Oh, these two. My favorite character. My favorite character. Right back there. Don't even know his name. You went in there and risked your life for my master? No, I risked my life to help you. Aw, this guy is the realest homie. Seriously, seriously, he is my favorite character in the show and the most relatable by any stretch of the imagination. If all the other characters die and he's the only one that survives, you know what? I'll be happy. I'll be happy. That is the realest homie right there. You know, your sister being alive doesn't change anything. You need to kill the Wookiee. She is fast, but weak. Yes, incredibly guide. weak. Yet there is skill there. I'm sorry, what skill are y'all talking about? Every fight I've seen May get into, she gets her ass handed to her. She wins most of them by pure luck. Like, I'm pretty sure y'all all could defeat her with both hands tied behind your back at this point. Someone has trained her. She doesn't know her master's identity, but she fears him. Why didn't you tell me about this? Why didn't you tell me there was a chance this poor girl survived? If I thought there was, of course I would have. What is with this unnecessary crap that Sol Ol is getting? First off, that child should have been left for dead. I don't, I don't care what anyone says, that child should be left for dead. Secondly, falling down a deep chasm. Chasm? Chasm. Deep chasm. Chasm. Man, let's go hole. Falling down a deep hole as a child should... I would assume you die too. Would it be a big leap of faith to assume, hey, this small child is dead? But I saw her fall. No one could have survived that. Thank you. Thank you. I fear May is only a small part of her master's larger plan. You engage unarmed, but can you use their saber if you disarm them? Or is that cheating? <laughs> That's how you're going to do it this time. You, you failed so much. <laughs> Yo, favorite character, favorite char character. This guy is the realest MVP right now. He's asking the real questions. He's a true homie. Yo, <claps> round of applause. We found a good one here, ladies and gentlemen. We found a character I can actually get behind. Cheers to you, brother. Can't believe my sister shed ice gum. What was she like when you spoke to her? She seemed in over her head, honestly. Anyways, let's get going. You're a psychopath. You're you're a psychopath. There's the You can't you can't make me feel something for you at this point. I saw you as a murderous child, you dommer. When I told May you were alive, her eyes softened. She became a different person. Nope, 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 no, no. no. I don't want May to get hurt. I know you don't either. There is still good in her. Uh, X to doubt. What you. what do you mean? She's a murderer. Thank you, Osha. Thank you. But she is still your family. 
no, 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 no. I don't care what family relation you might have to me. The moment I see you have Dahmer-like tendencies and go on a mass murder spree as a child, you're lucky I don't punch you into a field goal post at that point. She's still family. Nah, I severed that branch from that family tree and you're lucky I don't sever her head too. <laughs> what is that thing? <laughs> God, Pip, you can't be squirting people like this. There are others in the room. Have some dignity, would you? We're looking for a Wookiee. He's big and hairy. Yes. Uh, amazing description. That is the equivalent of saying, I'm looking for a person. So they got two eyes and a nose. I'm, I'm also thinking right now, they have like five Jedis on that ship. There, there, there's a lot of Je Jedis there. How in God's name is May making out of this? I genuinely, genuinely speaking, unless her master somehow how comes, which, why would he come? But unless her ma master comes, then she doesn't stand a chance, right? So you barely take down one Jedi, let alone five of them. Not gonna lie, I'm pretty curious about how May is gonna get out of this one. It's probably gonna be some stupid back ass way, but I'm curious. I'm curious nonetheless. You're gonna need to hand that blaster over. Well, it's it's mine now. Well, it's actually the property of the Jedi Order, so I'm afraid I'm going to have to insist that you hand it over. Yord, quit being a twat! <laughs> I'm sorry. Look at this little guy run. <laughs> Look at this little guy run. Do you understand what the, the Basil is? His name is Basil, and yes. Although most Padawans want to learn Shiriwok, I took it upon myself to learn a language a little more nuanced. Shut the f up! Shut the f Shut the f up! Shut the f up! Yord is such a condescending prick. Like, my god. This is like the template of how to make an unlikable character. Be condescending as hell. And I was defending you, you Yord, two episodes ago. I was defending you. Well, and now we're back to this. We're back to this. Okay, well, if you're upset, I'm on this mission. Join the clan. I'm not upset. I am concerned for your safety. Bullshit. I'd ask you a favor. Soul thinks that May can be saved. Master Soul is a wise Jedi. You must have reason to suspect May will listen to what you have to say. But if it comes to it, and she doesn't listen to me, you need to stop her. I won't be able to do it. Oh, those things are gonna come alive, aren't they? Those look like some nasty things. Those things are gonna come alive. I can already see it. Don't touch it! What in God's name is that? Swing bada bada! It went straight for the saber. It's attracted to life. I was able to sense that creature, but I disturbed it. And now it's dead. Oh, boo f you! I couldn't accept what I'd lost. How unfair it felt. The resentment that I felt for my sister, even though I, I missed her at the same time. We're not defined by what we lose. I cannot express how boring this is. Genuinely, I cannot express how boring this is. To put this in perspective, I normally pause a lot during these reactions. As you can probably tell, there's a lot of cutting cutting around, a lot of pa pausing I end up doing these videos. I am 33 three minutes into record recording this. There is only 15 team minute minutes left. I, by now, I should have, I should be like 45 five minutes in, close to an hour in. This is... Oh, this episode is so boring. You're just walking and walking and walking. And we don't learn anything new that we already don't know or can't at least put together in our heads. Like, we've had, what, like, two meaningful conversations? Maybe it's... Oh, my God, it's boring. No, no, no. You can't stop now. I have to fight a Wookiee after this trek. I'd like to rest for a minute. It's not a test. He calls it the final lesson. He says, your final lesson is when you teach yourself. You will kill a Jedi without a weapon. Attacking a defenseless person goes against everything the Jedi stands for. How do you kill someone like that? Unarmed. So basically what the final te test is, from what I'm gathering, is pretty much... What? Actually, no, no, it doesn't make sense to me. I, I, I thought at first it's like, okay, prove like the hypocrisy of the Jedi for attacking someone... Uh, unarmed 
Actually, no, I think that's what it is, but but she's carrying daggers with her r regardless. Like, um, but the, but it, uh, I am so confused. I'm so fucking confused. What is the point? What is the point of this? You're pretty much banking on, I don't even know like what you're trying to get across in this fi final lesson. From what May is saying, from what I'm gathering, is she saying, oh, with the final lesson said attacking or killing someone unarmed goes against everything like the Jedi stand for bas basically. I, or soon, an unarmed person. Hold, hold up, let me run this back real quick. Let me run this back real quick. Attacking a defenseless person goes against everything the Jedi, Jedi stand for. Okay, so that's what he's trying to get across. I'm assuming he's trying to get across that the Jedi's are hypocrites. That's, that's what I'm imagining saying her master is trying trying to get across. However, comma, you're really banking in that a Jedi will do that. Granted, like I'm sure like there are are Jedi's that would attack attack a defenseless person. Nobody's per perfect, right? But it seems like a pretty big gam gamble to be like, hey, you only have four chances to find that one Jedi that would actually go against the code. So it's like and if not, you die. <laughs> it's, I don't get it. I, ge I genuinely don't get it. I don't get the point. I mean, I get the point. The point's trying to be hypocrisy, but I feel like there's other hypocrisies you could show with the Jedi. I, I, I feel like there is. I want this more than anything, but it's impossible. And if I don't do it, they'll kill me. You don't even care. Hey, 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 hey. He's the only one that cares about you. How dare you talk about my good boy like this? He is the human equivalent of a golden retriever. He is the goodest of boys. How dare you insult him, Osha? How dare you assume he doesn't care? Don't see him. What? Basil. Great. He's vanished again. You lose the tracker? You lose the tracker? <laughs> what the hell? Me, 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 help! After running through that forest for an extremely long time, I realized something. I don't need to do this anymore. I don't need to kill a Jedi without a weapon. I don't need to keep this deal. What? They cut me what, down. What? 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 You were wrong. Osha being alive changes everything. My loyalty is to Osha, not your master. What? What? What is the point of this then? What the f is the point of this then? Oh my fucking. God, you wasted my time, show. You wasted my fucking time. Like, I get it. I get, I get it. Like this, seeing your sister alive, huge game cha changer. I genu, I, I get that. However, comma, it was such a 180 flip that it's like, yeah, sure. Like, it, what? <laughs> like, it, what? No build up, nothing. Just, yeah, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna switch sides real quick. What? And also, the way you treat this man is just. Horrific. It's just, this alone makes me hate you as a character. But then we include the psychopathic stuff you did as a child and the two other that you have on your kill count. And it's like, I, I, I don't like you. I don't like, I don't want you to succeed. I want you to be gone. Permanently. You were wrong. Osha being alive changes everything. My loyalty is to Osha, not your master. What, what I'm going to do is surrender myself to Kelnaka. And then turn myself into the Jedi. No, the Jedi will put you in prison. Not after I tell them who I know. He'll kill you. You'd have to find me first. I'll have to admit it. I did need you. I, I mean, it, it comes out of nowhere. It just comes out of nowhere. <laughs> like, no build up, nothing. Like, why didn't they have just like the majority of the episode, like, from May's perspe perspective, like we can see her start to sl slowly start to question question thi things, maybe think, think about uh, more about uh, uh, Osha, and then her guide is it, I, and then Quimir, Quimir, I think what his name name is. He'll keep trying to push her like in the right direction, to where it's, it's like no, 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 no. Like we have to continue doing this. We have to do this for the master. Do this for the master, and we get to see more and more of the cracks like throughout the episode until fi finally like she sits down, and then maybe maybe she meditates for like the first time and like. In like a while or something, or something, or like meditates like a je like a Jedi or something, and then finally is like, you know what? My loyalties aren't to this master; it's it's to Osha, or at least something, something to give us a better transition from A to B, rather than going from from A to Z. Like what the fuck show? Build up, build something up. Seriously, I beg of you. 
And here I am thinking I'm going to have to turn this into a double episode show showcase where I've watched two ep episodes in the same video. Here I am thinking that. Meanwhile, this show oh, just threw the biggest curve, not even a curveball, a freaking slider at the this point for no good reason. Genuinely no good reason with no buildup whatsoever. It it's it's ridiculous. Where's Basil? I don't know. I don't How do you lose the tracker? You're going to face your past. Both of us will. Once we get May safely to the ship, I'll explain everything. What? I promise. What? What? Wait! What? What? Wait a minute! Wait a fuck! Wait a fuck! What the? F what do you mean by by that? What are you you hiding? Because it seems very cut and dry. Everything seems very cut and dry from what this show has shown us. Anything you're about to say that's about to throw a wrench into anything we've seen previous is gonna come out of nowhere. Come out of nowhere, no build up, no nothing. Is, is this, this is the theme of the show? No build up. It's just, just like, okay, we're just gonna, gonna do a quick 90 degree change into everything. And for the record, yes, I'm committing to keeping the chair over there. I, I'm done with this. Hey, little buddy. <laughs> Master Kilnaka! Is he already dead? What? Oh. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hold up. <laughs> Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Wait a minute. Hold up. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. No, no, no. The chair is coming down for this. The chair is coming down for this. I have a prediction. This could be. Just so wrong, but you know what? With the way this show is going, something so wrong could potentially be the correct answer. I'm predicting, I am predicting that Quimir, Qu whatever the hell that guy is, the goodest of boys, he's her master. <laughs> that, that is what I'm assuming. That is what I'm, I'm assuming. Because, A, there's no reason then for this Wookiee to be here for so long and then just to take his own life. N no, no reason reason what whatsoever and secondly it would kind of track i mean he's the only other per person here in the, in the forest that's now unaccounted for she just left him them ha hanging by his legs and what's a very stereotypical move to do with a lightsaber well cut off whatever your legs are stuck on when you're hanging i, f I guess i feel like that's stereotypical i feel like we've seen that a lot in star wars i don't know Plus, if he's her master, it's like, okay, I'm going to frame you for this even more so then the Jedi's have even more of a reason to attack, attack you unarmed. That, that, that is what I, I'm assu assuming here. And it's going to create this huge misunderstanding. It's going to be like, no, no, I, I, I didn't do this one. Trust me, I did those other ones. Believe me, I did. Did I break my leg? <laughs> I broke the f my fucking leg. I broke my leg. There you are go create this big misunderstanding understanding it's like no, no no i killed those other two i killed those other two but th but this one i didn't kill i did not not kill at all and then she's gonna get all all bent out of shape about it and be like oh why won't you believe believe me and they go back to her to, to her master this and the other and uh it's gonna be a stupid misunderstanding when all she really needs to do is like this changes nothing this genuinely changes nothing thing like you already really are on on trial for killing two jedi the, the, the third doesn't really cha change much. Doesn't really change what your plan is here. Hey, turn myself se self elf in and give them information on my master. Like, it changes nothing. In the name of the Galactic Republic and the Order of the Jedi should come out with your hands where we can see them. That means you, May Anasea. Sure, don't warn her. Don't say anything. Oh, it's him. Oh, hello. It is, it is, it is, it's Kormir, I'm, I'm telling you. <laughs> that helmet looks so stupid, it's like, it looks like it has a grin on it, it looks like it has a fucking <laughs> eating grin on it. Also, Osha, move back! Move back faster! You can backpedal! Seriously! You, you think this isn't a threat? He looks like he's threatening! Like, really? Oh, except for the grin part, but just step back! Seriously, it's basic logic! Look at it, it's smiling at you. The face is smiling at you, you can't tell me otherwise. <laughs> it looks so stupid. Oh boy, so that's how, that's how we're ending this. That's how we're ending this, you know what? Cool, 
Go, 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 go. So that was episode five of the Acolyte, and um, that was a thing. I think stuff happened. Like, it, the the actual stuff that happened that made me go ballistic was only like. 10 minutes of, of the actual episode itself. But then again, everything else was so boring and nothing happened. Like, you could have used that time to actually build up, like, May changing her mind and then wanting to lead to turning herself in and go against her master and all, all that. Like, you had time there, you could have used that, but instead you chose to do nothing. Just walking and talking. Just walking and talking about nothing. It's uh, it's so meaningless. So meaningless. But what are you gonna, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? That's episode five five of the acolyte. I hope you all enjoy enjoyed this this reaction, and and let me know in the comment section below what other stuff you want want me to react to. We're coming to the end. I think we only have like three episodes left. I actually don't know how many episodes are in the acolyte. Gen genuinely, I think eight. I think eight. I could be wrong. Wrong though. No, but. And we're coming to, to the end, and and yeah, let's let me know what other stuff you all would want me to react to. If you like the video, new to the channel, hit that like and subscribe button. Also, the channel's potential is the same buttons. Anyway, my name is Bajio, and I will shut the f phone, and I will talk to you all later. Peace.